Hello. Hey there, everybody. Looks like we already have <coughs> a couple of thumbs up and love. Ah, right? tell you, people love us. Show us some love. You know, all right, so uh, and we'll start this off just at the very beginning of it. Oh, uh, we'll just uh, chat a minute and let people come on. Okay, in. well, I was, I was going to tell you the fact that I had somebody stop at the store and ask me, are y'all going to be on this week? So last week, oh, we, we were not on because of um, we had a death in the family we wouldn't take care of. Um, went up to a funeral, unfortunately, so that's why we weren't here last week. But we had someone that was going, hey, I missed you guys. That's really nice. Thank you. So, so here we are. We did, Henry. We back did after, <clears throat> honestly, we've been back after two weeks, hasn't it? Or is it? No, we missed two okay. weeks, and then we were here a week, and then we missed a week. So, okay. we so missed it's been a kind of sporadic. It's really kind of odd for us because we like to, hey, Ashley, thanks for saying hi and stopping by. Um, it's nice to, it's just kind of sad that it's not been kind of inconsistent lately, but it is what it is. Life is what it is. Life is what it is. And we are, we are, we are here at Disnerd's life, and therefore we have life to deal with. <laughs> very true, very true. <clears throat> I'm not wearing a Disney shirt today. What was I thinking? <laughs> hey, Brandy. No, 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 wait a second. Is that on a LuLaRoe shirt? Yeah, it is LuLaRoe. So where's the Disney at then on it? Because you don't buy anything LuLaRoe that's not I Disney. I do have a few LuLaRoe things that are Disney. What? Yeah. Someone gave that to you then. Uh, no, I bought this. What? I bought it when you weren't looking. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> I have somewhat of a LuLaRoe problem. Hey, they look good. Thank you, Kim DeRoos. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Kim and my LuLaRoe. Now that, now that I know all of them are LuLaRoe. You know, I, I know which ones I can and can't dry, so <laughs> it's good. Yeah, Henry does the laundry for me, guys. That's what I'm saying. Any of you guys out there who are single and watching, find somebody who'll do laundry for you. <laughs> and many other wonderful things. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Anyway, all right. Well, so we've just taken a couple of minutes to let people come on, and if you're just joining in... <clears throat> Please go ahead and share out. Tonight's show is all about being on a boat. <laughs> oh, Heather says, okay. yes, yes. <clears throat> and now that I know know which ones can and can't go in, you know, LuLaRoe cannot go in dryers, it's easy. I pull them out, put them on a hanger, and walk away. So it's like the, dry, the, the clothes actually get dried faster now. I don't have to go quite as That's long true. as the other ones. So. That's true. And they're not wrinkled. It's really nice. I mean... It, when sometimes they come out of the yeah. But anyway, Lularo, Lularo. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I understand. <laughs> we understand completely what you meant. Yep, Lularo is great. If you need somebody to buy Lularo from, send me a message. I'll shoot, uh, send you over to my lady. But anyway, so um, we are going it's to be right talking now. about being on a boat tonight. But we do have a few things. So go ahead. I'm Rita. I'm Henry. And we are a Disney Disturbs life. life. Yeah. How about that? That was me. Uh-huh. All right, so and I'm sinus today also. So yeah, I if think I, if I, let's I try see, allergy. That's yeah, what you are. I'm allergies. Um, it is it is bloomed here, whatever it is, and it is you know it is it is what it is. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about being on a boat. But before we get started, we do have a couple of just really quick news items and t talking about our Disney week. Okay. Um, I have, uh, my Disney week has really just consisted of it being Travel Agent Appreciation Day. We mm -hmm. had that this, I believe that was this past week. It this was week this past has week. been quite a whirlwind it for has our been family. A yes. Um, but that was pretty cool and being a travel agent, I think that's pretty nifty to be recognized. I love that. So shout out to all my other travel agent friends. And, uh, we are the best group of people in my yes. opinion. Yeah, I think Especially as Disney ones. And then I have been planning kind of a last minute trip with some of the other ladies in the travel agency, which is pretty exciting. We are going down to do some research just for you guys. Heather's watching right now. She's going. We got the two Heathers going and me. We're going to be doing, I know you're sad. We're going to be doing the Wild Africa Trek with that. I know y'all are. I know y'all are. I'm, I'm, I am, I am bummed. <laughs> I am bummed because that's something I definitely want to do. So what I'm going to do instead is, is me and some of the guys are going to get that we're going to get into Disney without you. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I love it. That, that's great. You know, that's, anyone ask me like, no. I'm like, go down for spring training next year. Yeah, more likely. That's a great idea. Oh, yes. And we're also doing 
the After Hours Party, which that was just recently announced. And what the After Hours Party is, is it's a separate ticketed event. And Heather, please say, speak up if I'm getting these times wrong. But it's from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. But it's extremely limited. Um, it's not... Okay, so if you've ever done a ticketed event like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and there used to be other ticket events that you could do. There's, I mean, it is a limited number of tickets, but they let a lot of people into the several, park. Several thousand people yeah. are still in the park. But my understanding, and this is what I'm doing, I'm doing research for you guys, um, but it, um, it's extremely limited. And all the ice cream we get, Heather, is that right? I didn't, I, maybe I didn't read the fine print. That's, you had me there. See, that, that, does, that does me no good. No good. Yeah, so it's a good thing you're not going. Right? Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm wasted on that one. So, yeah, so we're going to do some research on that for you this summer. Um, oh, uh, gosh, Heather, I need to go back and reread all that. I didn't realize. <laughs> I was just like, sure, That's let's do it. That's going to be a fun, long day, is it? Get <laughs> yes. in at 7 a.m. and get out at 1 a.m.? <laughs> yep. Um, also, I bought my very first annual pass this week. You did, didn't you? I did. That's pretty cool, being able to have an annual pass. Now, I was going to say oh, 7, 7 a.m. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes more yeah. sense, yes. Uh, but yeah, I bought my first annual pass, which means lots and lots of trips between now and then. Yeah. Until now and 12 months. Yep. Pretty cool. But other big news, and if you'll head out to Disney Parks blog, and I'll try to uh, link it up here too, is they have shown on-ride video for Slinky Dogs uh, roller coaster. I have coaster. not seen that yet. Yeah, it's pretty I'll cool. I'll watch that after the after the show today. The music to it reminded me of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and if anybody's seen it, go back and watch it and tell me if it doesn't remind you of Mr. Rogers' That's Neighborhood. Cool. But yeah, so there's Slinky Dog. Um, and it's on ride roller coaster, which we get to make our fast pass reservations for that tomorrow. Yes, we do. Six a.m., seven a.m., along mm -hmm. with a couple of other clients who are going at the same time we are. So it'll be an exciting be morning in our household. Both of us will be clicking away. Yeah. So if there's any other Disney news you want anybody else to know about, feel free to comment in the comment se comment section. And of course, if you're watching and the replay on YouTube or somewhere else, comment below. That's right. Awesome. So you want to get ready and get into well, our... Well, you know, since you said YouTube, we have to turn around and talk about all the other cool things with that also. Oh, okay, good. So if you're following us on YouTube, if, you, if you're watching us on YouTube, please follow us, like, and subscribe. If you're following us on Facebook, if you're watching us on Facebook, make sure to click the little three buttons up in the... Yeah, up there. Uh, right, 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 right up there. We yeah. think it's up there. We think it's up there. We don't know. Um, yeah, there's three little buttons up there. You can say you want to follow all of our live, all of our live notifications, and you'll make sure to know every time we are going live. Absolutely. So. And as always, we are sponsored by, sponsored by Middle of the Magic Travel. You got it right. Bing, 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 yeah, bing. we couldn't do this without Middle of the Magic Travel. And in all transparency, we are employees or private contractors with Middle of the Magic. <laughs> yeah, we're not travel. employees. Yeah, um, we, we are, are travel agents. We are travel agents. All right. So and let's, teachers let's, and comic book store owners and many all right, so parents. You're, talk, you're, you're talking about your, your week of it. All right, okay, so go. for those of y'all who didn't make it out to a, a comic shop this past uh, Saturday, it was a free comic book day um, all around the, the world, actually. Um, and the, the world? Really? Yeah, there are, I didn't know that. There are shops all around the, the <laughs> world that are obviously not as many as there are in the United States, but there were some. I met a, a couple of guys from uh, Switzerland um, when I was in Chicago really? that had a shop up there. Um, so... Right. But there was two Disney books this time. There was the Disney Princesses that they do regularly now. That's become a kind of a regular thing for it, which for okay. little girls. And then there was um, A Nightmare Before Christmas, Zero's Journey. Oh, did you grab one? I have one. Of course. I don't know every single free comic that comes out. I keep one oh, on. Okay. Um, it's in my collection, and I'll let you turn around and read it. Oh, you know, how many copies did you get of that? Uh, I don't know how many I have left. Uh, if I do, it's in the Midtown store because our Hickson store ran out of everything. Really? Yes. I need two copies. Okay. Because I want to send some over to some of our favorite YouTube people. Okay. So. Can do. Can All do. right. Cool. Awesome. So, free, free, free Comic Week Day was a lot of fun, huh? It was a lot of fun. You know, awesome. so. Uh, and if you're not, you know. For those of y'all who don't, don't think about comics and stuff, there's a lot of really great stories that are going on over there. Um, whether it's just Disney or Marvel or even DC or any of the others, there's some really fun stories. Um, get out there, do some reading, get your kids involved in reading. Um, sometimes if your kids don't enjoy necessarily pulling up a book and reading it, it's really good just to turn around and 
uh, grab a, a short comic and you can hold their attention just for that few 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. So, all right. Now let's get on to some boats. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Did you she guys... is clearly an eighth grade uh, teacher. Because <laughs> I... I went <laughs> to me. <laughs> Right. I'm sorry. As soon as we came up with our topic, I, all I heard was Andy Sand. I believe his name's Andy Sandberg from Saturday Night Live doing the whole with that. I don't even know who the rapper guy is. Obviously, since I'm like trying to, be, I'm on a boat. Anyway, yeah, that's all I could think about. So tonight's right. topic: our top five favorite boats. Boats in Disney. So and and we think, I think we will only double up on two of them. You think so? I think at most yeah. two of them. My list is on this little bitty piece of paper right here. It's Mine's on a real piece of paper. <laughs> so stay, keep with us today because we are going to, <laughs> thank you, Heather. Thank you. I know I look like a big geek, but you know, hey. <laughs> um, so I, well, anyway, I took some liberty with this, with the rules on this, so we'll see how this rolls. Oh, I love liberties. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, what I was saying is we are going to have a listener question at the end so that you can answer some things. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, you go first. I go first. Oh, don't, don't forget, tell us what your favorite boat attractions are. Go. All right, so I'm going to take one of that I think will double up so that I can get it. Oh, no. Yeah. What is it? Pirates Caribbean. Um, it's actually, yes, it's on my list. I, I figured it was. And funny thing, I just said the word, and I heard our three-year-old yell in the background. And that's why I love the ride so oh, much. Oh, she does love pirates. That was her first, one of her first rides. The first time she rode on it, we got the mist. She freaked out, thought she was going to get soaking wet. Um, but then we went through all the rest of it, and she loved it. Um, and so much now that whenever we hear the music for pirates, she comes running in. She hears the word pirates. She's excited about it. So, um, Pirates of the Caribbean, it's a lot of fun. It's a very, very nice, gingerly ride through it. It's nice and cool. Um, it has that very unique smell to it. The musty water smell. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, it's a it's a good ride. It, I mean, obviously, they're great movies. It's very well loved. Um, so, and, and they've before... just made some changes to yes, it. Yes, but do you remember Pirates before Johnny Depp? No. Okay. I do. Uh, honey, I, I went to Disney twice before I was... I remember my first ride on Pirates. My absolutely 100% first ride. And, and, you know, I was just, I've been very fortunate and blessed to have a mother who has a childlike heart. She is not only extremely intelligent and just a wonderful woman, but she is just so much fun to go to Disney with. And I will never, ever forget, she and my aunt, myself and my cousin and my little brother, we were riding Pirates of the Caribbean, and we went under the bridge where the pirate's leg hangs down, and we were like, oh my gosh, you can see the hair on his legs, and we were just so in awe that Disney went to so much detail. Even as a young child, I was like yeah. amazed that Disney went into so much detail over the hairy leg of the pirate. Yes. Uh, Brandy, to answer your question, they've changed the beach scene at the beginning of it. Um, they used to have a skeleton. A skeleton a mermaid, mermaid is, is no longer there. They've changed some of that up. She was actually in um, bondage. I think yeah. that's why they. Took I think it so out. too. Um, and then the other one is at the um, what used to be a, uh, I guess a slave auction. It's what it kind of looked like. It, it was buy a bride. Yeah, buy a bride. That was it. Um, they've changed it from that to your. They're selling their, uh, selling off their possessions. Uh, I guess so. Like. Rum, and you see someone carrying like a chest in and stuff like that. So. Our our redheaded, um, mm -hmm. what they call our redheaded red wench, right? Yep, she's is red now a redheaded red pirate, which is really cool though, because Disney's taking it one step further. And out in Disneyland, not sure about Disney World yet, but out in Disneyland, she's actually going to come out and do some meet and greets. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, so those are the changes uh, with pirates, which I think yeah. they were they. Uh, we talked about it when they made those changes. Yeah. Controversial changes, maybe. I but, was, but I think they did a really good job with it. I was yeah. concerned when they were to change it up, and they did an excellent job on changing it. And I it. think it good for Disney. Good yeah. for them for making that change. Yep, definitely. All right. So, so your turn. We, we both had pirates, We both right? had pirates. So that strikes those off the list. Yep. Childhood favorite, for sure, of mine. And um, Minnie, she used to be scared to death of pirates. Anyway. Um, all right. So. It's on your list. 
Okay, so here's where I took a little liberty. No, I'm going to come back to that one. All right. Okay. Splash Mountain. Okay. <laughs> that one's not on your list. Not on my is list. It? Splash no, no, Mountain no. is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, I love that it's long. I love that it has a great story to it. I love that you can follow the story as you're going through the ride. Yep. It's very obvious what the story is. I love the hidden Mickeys. I love the little uh, drops that are within the ride. I just mm -hmm. love everything about that ride. Splash Mountain is a great ride. Yes. And, and I love it. And if it wasn't for the fact that I get queasy on the the four-story, five-story drop at the end of it, I think it's an amazing ride otherwise. It is. It is a great ride. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it really is. It's great for the whole family as long as you're 40 inches or taller. Yes. And know that before you go up. And you really don't get wet on it. That's always a number one question, is do you get wet on, on this ride? And, and the correct answer is maybe. At Disneyland, all day. Yes. Um, at Disney World, n not usually. Yeah. Your, your bum, like whatever side's closest to the edge of the... Did you say bum? Yeah, your bum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your bottom, the side that's closest to the edge of the boat, might possibly get a little bit of water on it. Yeah. Now, there is this one spot where you, when you first get on the ride and you're getting ready to go up the first small lift hill and you're watching the boats come down on the other side. Yeah. And when the boats come down, there's these water chutes that shoot out water. And if it's timed just right, you could possibly get hit with one of those. From there. <laughs> but That's it's kind of rare. I mean, it, it only happens every sure. now and again. So yeah. you don't really get that wet on, okay. on that ride. All right. Your turn. All right. Um, I'll throw out one that I know not on our list. Okay. On your list. That's Living with the Land. Yeah, it is too on my list. Is it really? Yes. Oh, my word. I never would have thought that was on the list. <laughs> yes. I apologize. Why do you like Living with the Land so much? Um, because when I step off of it, I'm inspired. Uh, by, to do what? To, to be, you know, to, to turn around and, um, uh, uh, go and be contra be a conservative, be, or, uh, uh, not conservative. You are conservative. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, I will, like, after I got off of it the last time, I'm like, huh, I wonder if I can turn around and do, um, the tomatoes that actually drop oh, and hang okay. down. okay, I see what you're saying. Um, or, um, I know here, here locally... Um, there's a group that took used tires, and I don't know how they do it. I'd love to turn around and like, look, but they take used tires, fill up with dirt, and, and grow tomatoes. I'm mean, not tomatoes, but, but pot potatoes. And they have a stack of They'll have a stack of 10 tires high. You think our neighbors would appreciate it if we did that? Uh, probably not. We live in the city. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, I, I see all these scenes, and I walk off of it, and I love it. And I'm inspired when I get off of it. Uh, me, and, me and Amelia ride it every single time we've been. I love it. Um, again, you know, I'm, it, I love it because I'm an Epcot girl. I, that's, you know, why I loved Disney as a kid was because of Epcot. So, yeah. Live it. But it also has the musty water smell and it takes me back to my childhood. But also, much like you, it, it does kind of, to some degree, inspire me. Um, sometimes it's because of the quotes that are on the wall about how we can make change yep. in the world around us. But... The land pavilion is a great pavilion to visit, and and yes, living with the land still brings back, I think, the original, um, the original concept as those who worked for Disney thought Walt Disney wanted it to be. I'm not sure, so sure that's what Disney wanted, but they did. They were inspired by that original concept. So, anyway, oh, that's in the wrong person. No. Mm -mm. Oh. So, let's see. Heather says that Living with the Land, that's a favorite of hers at Epcot, too. Yeah. I think anybody who really enjoys Epcot likes Living with the Land. If you like, if you like Epcot, Living with the Land. And it's what's funny. is like, I remember so many times I'll walk into, um, I mean, depending on, on the crowd size, but if the crowds aren't, the crowds are below a six, I would say. On a scale on, of one, on to, one ten. to ten. Yeah. Um, and you walk in, um, Soren may have a line with it, but you can typically walk right up to... Oh um, goodness. I'm sorry guys. I don't know where my phone is. Um You just connected to that phone call. I did. We apologize, folks. Yes. That's my fault. Um, I will have to call them back. <laughs> um Alright. I've never had that happen. Nobody ever calls me. <laughs> the only person calls you is right here. What the heck? <laughs> this is true. And <laughs> that mom. Um 
So we were talking about living with land. Yep. Sorry. So, oh, how there's hardly ever a line? There's hardly ever a line. You can I walk disagree. Up, walk. I have regularly walked over and there's been a very short line to it, if any line at all, with Amelia. Oh, you've been licked out because I know any time during the day when Soren gets busy, so does living with the land. And I've seen living with the land get a long wait. I've seen it as a real long wait. I guess we normally hit Soren pretty early in the day. Yeah. If you hit it early in the day, living with the land rarely has a, has a wait True. early in the morning. So, all right. Well, I've now knocked off two of yours, so you keep going. I only have two left. Uh-oh. I've got one, two, three. I got three left. Okay. So, here's where I took some liberty. All right. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah. Heather says, by the way, living with the land, it's hit or miss. She's seen it for, from 5 to 45. It really yeah. is, Heather. It's kind of crazy how the line could get really long for that. Um, all right. You ready? Go for it. The submarines in 20,000 wings under the sea. No, I totally get that one. Because one of mine's going to be a Liberty also. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, I just, I couldn't. You want to go? To yes. The... <laughs> you talk for a second. I'm going to go see if I can help. I out. could not go without um, talking about Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea when we're talking about a boat and how cool that was as a kid and how much it left an impression on me. How much I enjoyed it. It sounds like my house is going crazy right now, but I love Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. And fortunately, when I went out to Disneyland last year, I got to, in a sense, ride it again. Which was really cool. I got to ride the subs with Nemo, um, Nemo and friends, and I got to see a couple of throwbacks on that ride with Nemo. And I, actually, I think they did really good taking that overlay of uh, finding Nemo into the subs. It, the kids really loved it. I know Amelia really liked it. She was a little apprehensive, but we all had a really good time on that attraction. So, what is your favorite boat ride? In all of Walt Disney World, while we're waiting on Henry, tell me what you think. Or, Brandy, you're headed out in um, several months. What are you looking forward to uh, riding? Are you looking forward to Pirates? Is there something you've heard of that you're looking forward to? Or, Heather, what's your favorite ride, boat ride in all of Disney? Sometimes my favorite rides don't even occur in the parks. <laughs> so... I'm not sure what Henry's doing, but he is coming back, coming back really soon. I know it's, it's quiet. Crickets, crickets, crickets. <laughs> Here he comes. So I talked about why I love 20,000 Leagues. I, I heard some of that. And that we were able to I would kind of write, write it again in a sense when we went to Disneyland. Oh, okay. So, your turn. All right. Oh, uh, Brandy says she's looking forward to Pirates of the Caribbean and Splash Mountain when she goes out. Jungle Cruise? Okay, cool. So oh. I, thought, I thought that would be on your list. No, it, okay. I love the Jungle Cruise. I really do. Um, <clears throat> and I love the jokes and I love getting on there and laughing so other people will laugh. Yes. Let me tell you, folks, when you ride the Jungle Cruise, you need to need to be willing to be a ham. Um, ham it up with the, 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 uh, the cast that's there, the, your skipper. They tell some amazingly corny jokes, and if you'll laugh with them, it's a whole lot better. And don't, I, my suggestion would be don't ride it when you're really tired. No, that's true. Because if you're really tired, you won't, you won't really look, you, look yeah, you just, they just won't be funny. It, so David's looking forward to the Jungle Book. That's really the Jungle, Jungle Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> Jungle Cruise. Yeah, it's really a great one. And if you ever get the chance to do the Jingle Jungle Cruise, that that At one Christmas. Is, yeah, that one. It's a different different makeup with it and stuff. Uh, some new jokes, uh, a little change. And one thing I like is that the jokes are not always the same. This is true. Um, each skipper um, is given the opportunity to work on their own jokes and change things up. So it, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I just like it. I mean, it's 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 corny dad jokes. So why would I not love that? So do you know, here's a little trivia for you. Do you happen to know, and you guys can answer too, any famous jungle skippers? Um, I have heard of them, but I cannot remember. Like, as you say that, I'm like, oh, there's a couple of people that, but I can't remember who they were. Because uh, there's a couple of them gone to become actors. Like, actual well-known mm -hmm. folks. So. so I won't I won't say out loud if any of those. So if you guys know of any, you can feel free to comment as we continue on with our top five favorite boats. <laughs>
So how many do you have left? Just one? I have one. Well, so then, so I should do, I got two. Yeah. So you can go ahead and do, do yeah, two do of them? Yeah, Alright, so my next one is Peter Pan. Oh, that is outside the ah, boat. Outside the boat. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Um, oh, Brandy says you could be a skipper. You would be, actually, you would be a great... Jennifer Hicks? Hey! hey Jennifer. Thank you for saying hi. So, so good to hear from you. Yes, I, I think I, I could have fun with being a skipper. I think you would make an excellent skipper. <laughs> and you've got like the facial hair. Yeah, you just know. put on the hat. Put the hat on. Let's get fun. you a skipper hat this time. Okay. All right. I'm cool with that. Um, so back over to Peter Pan, where I'm flying away oh, on yeah, my boat sorry. right now. Um, you know, it is it is outside. It, it's, it's thinking outside of the line. There's no water around, but we didn't say water rides. We said boat rides. And you were on a... You are on a pirate ship that gets sprinkled with little pixie dust, and you get to fly around. Hey, it's um, a boat that flies. It's a boat so that flies. We, uh, yep. So it is a lot of fun, um, and um, just it, it's a good one. Now then, something to know about Peter Pan: you either get a fast pass, or you do it first thing in the morning, um, or you don't. Absolutely, because it can take a long time. It's one of the longest lines that you will see at Disney during <clears throat> busy times, and fast passes will run out really quickly. Yep. So, all right, cool. Yeah, you know, and what, and I guess that's what I lo- like about it also is that, I mean, that ride is from the seventies. Oh yeah, you know, and I it mean, still it's one of has the original rides at, at um, Disneyland. It was it, brought it, over yeah. exactly. So, and it still has long lines. It is still well loved. You think of all the rides that have come and gone mm-hmm. during that time, and Peter Pan is still there as one of the top rides. That's true. So that's true. All right, so my last one. You go with your last one. Okay. So my last one is the boat ride from the Magic Kingdom to the Polynesian or to Fort Wilderness or to the Contemporary in the the smaller wooden boat. Not the bigger ferry boat that takes you straight from uh, the Magic Kingdom to Fort Wilderness, which we've taken a hundred times. But the small wooden boat, I love, oh, love, that one, love yes. that ride in the evening as the sun's setting. And yep. the breeze, it is just an absolutely gorgeous way to travel at Disney. On Something that we need to do for our research on our next trip okay. is to actually have a, what, do a firework cruise. Um, maybe not on this upcoming. Not maybe on this one, but on one of them. I'm on one of them soon. Yeah. Because you know you're talking about about being able to be out, um, and and sit on the boat and watch the fireworks, and they still do the sh- do the cruises for them, and it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. So. Absolutely. All right. What's your last one? My last one is um, I'm not done yet, but I totally want to do. Okay. Um, it's the amphibia cars. Over at the boathouse. Oh, what a great one! Yes. I didn't even think about that when I was going yeah. through my list. So over at Disney Springs, there's a there's a restaurant called the Boathouse, um, and they have the the amp 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 cars amp cars a p a a m p h i c a r s amp amp car. I think they're German made. They are German made, yeah. um, and they are both a car and a boat, and it is they. They look a lot like, if you haven't seen them, they look a lot like the, the old 50s uh, Chevy that everybody has always thought of. It's got a classic 50 look to it. Um, Real cute cars. Yep. It is. They, they run $125 per rod. Um, and you can take up to three guests. Um, and because you get, obviously, a skipper slash uh, chauffeur. Captain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a captain. Yeah. You know, and it. it I don't know if they have to. I know on several other things, like I've been on the, uh, the duck boats. Mm-hmm. Um, those people have to have both a limousine driver license and a boat license. I bet um, they don't have to have. They probably don't have to because it's, all, it's small. Several of them, yeah. yeah. Um, but you can have up to three people. It's one hundred twenty-five dollars per trip. Uh, if you can get three people in the back row, sometimes you can get a fourth like person. A kid. So yeah. So like we have our, our little one with us. So. Oh, Jennifer says she can't take... Um, can't wait till she can take the girls. Oh, my eyes are uh, Jennifer, bad. we are authorized Disney vacation planners. You must contact <laughs> us. So make sure you send us a message over and we will get you get you started when you're ready to, to get the girls going. So, absolutely. We are Disney experts. It, you know, um, it was funny. I was talking to somebody else the other day about that. And they're like, yeah, I can't wait till my kids are like 
nine and ten year old so I can take them to Disney. I'm like, whoa. Four and five. Yeah. Three and four. Three, four, five. That's a lot of, that's, that's yeah. a fun age. Yeah. Um, while we have taken a one year old, you have to have help with the one year old. Um, you should have help. I love you. Well, to. that's if you're wanting to do things on your own. True. If, if, True. if that's not important to you, then no, because they sleep all the time. Yep. At least ours did. That's true. <laughs> true. Not all kids sleep all the time. All right, so I've got two more things over here on my list. Oh. Uh, right. Not not boat wise. Two more things on my checklist for tonight. Okay. Uh, one of them is is customer questions or not customer, but um, um, questions from the audience. I guess is what we'll call it. And two is your trivia. Which order are you wanted in? Well, hang on. Let's recap really quick. Oh, recap. Recap. Okay. So our favorite boat rides. I have a cap. Okay. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Hands down. Living with the land. Loved it. Yes, one of our favorites. Peter Pan. Love that you went outside the box on that one. Um, then we said, um, what else did I say? 20,000 Leagues Under 20, the Sea. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Slash uh, Nemo now. Yep. Splash Mountain. Yep. And then Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. And then I also said <sighs> the boats that take you from like the Magic Kingdom to the Polynesian or to the yep. Contemporary. The ones. Or the smaller ones. The smaller boat. And, and then, then the, the boathouse boat. Uh, car yeah, boats. The Amphicars. Amphicars. Cool. So that's a lot of really cool boats. Those are our top five favorites. But we and there's still a lot of other really great ones out there. Yeah. Um, we want to know what you about. love um, for sure because there are plenty of others. Yep. Cool. All right. So. Which one, do you, I, which one do you want first? Do you want trivia first and so you can think about it and come back to it? Yes. Or do you... Okay. All right. <clears throat> Where in the Magic Kingdom... I'll help you out with that part. Where in the Magic Kingdom... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> can you find... Uh, Bomoma... Ke- ke- uh, uh, yeah, wait. The, oh, you can't say it. You can't ask I, it. Yes, I can. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Honey, I was just glad I could say your name after six months of dating you. Your name's Rita. I know. I struggle with things like that. It's names. Um, I had it earlier. Bomo Candy Bertha. Where in the Magic Kingdom can you find Bomoma Candy Bertha? All right. Now then, would you like the other question? Yes, please. <laughs> I am here to confuse and, you know... When, once you know the answer, you'll, you'll be happy with it. You'll you'll be like, ah, uh, I didn't. It might even be something you don't know about. Yeah, it's even better. Hey, that so. could be true. All right, so the question comes from um, uh, from the audience, from a, a, a lady who's going down to uh, Disney in December this year. Okay, and she's thinking about doing a girls' night with her and her eight year old daughter to a Mickey's Very Magic Kingdom. No, I will not try to say that five times fast, Brandy. Sorry. Um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Okay. Is it worth it for just her and her daughter? Or are the lines going to be too long to see the cat people? Is it more for adults? She's seen a lot of pictures and it seems like a lot of adults are there more than anything else. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, no, I do not think it's for just adults. Ever. I don't think anything at Disney is... Well, there are some things that are just for adults. But overall... Um, overall... You know, I don't. I don't think it's just for adults. I do think that lines can get long for characters because they do bring out special characters at right. these parties. For example, you know, like is that the only time you meet uh, Jack and and, and Sh- uh, Sally, or is well, that over it? Wait, are, is this a Christmas party or a Halloween party? I was gonna say, or is that over the Halloween? I can't remember which one they're it's at. The Halloween. They're at the Halloween. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, there definitely are special characters that will come out, but lines can get long. However. If you go in with the right kind of plan, and I know somebody who can give that plan to you, <laughs> um, you can definitely uh, have a good time and get to see all the characters that you want to see. Plus, there's all kinds of uh, perks. You've got shorter lines. You've got dance parties. Shorter lines for attractions, dance parties, and then, of course, all the hot chocolate and cookies that you could want. It's a great, great experience. So make sure that when you go that you definitely take your children. I think it is a perfect time, and it's truly probably one of the best parades in Disney, in yeah. my opinion. Um, I know whenever we did the uh, Not So Scary Halloween Party, um, I enjoyed the fact that the lines got very short. We were able to ride mm-hmm. uh, Seven Doors Mine Train back to back. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is that's, kind of that's a, unheard yeah. of normally. Yeah. So, it, yeah, absolutely, you should go. And it isn't just for adults. Nope. All right, cool. Yeah. So, Bo, Bo, Sue Bertha? Yeah. 
That that right there is the word. B O M O K A N D I Bertha. Uh, well, it's a boat. It is. Um. So where would a boat be? If anybody knows, I'm going to say Shrunken Ned's um, Jungle Cruise. You're correct. All of the boats in Jungle Cruise have their own names, including the Amazon Annie, Kong, Congo... Uh, oh, I said Shrunken Ned's. Shrunken Ned's is different. But anyway, Oh, my bad. So it's the Jungle Cruise boat. Jungle Cruise boats, okay. yeah. Congo Connie. There's the Nelly, uh, Nile Nelly. And then there's a whole bunch of them that are even worse to try to say. There you go. You want to see that list? In fact, folks, I'll, I'll top this up and put it on there, you know, later on. So Thank you, Libby. I did have, well, Bertha sort of gave it away. I kind of thought that might be it. Um, so, Irrawaddy Irma, Quango Kate, Mongola Millie, Nile Nelly. Oh, I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> Retshura, Retshuru, Ruby, Senegal Sal, Sandura Sadie. Um, yeah, good luck on that. Val and Wamba Wanda, Wanda. Yep. Wow. So all your boats are are um, are named on the cruise, on your jungle cruise. So when you get on, ask your skipper who you're riding with, what your boat is. Cool. Find that out. See see if they know who they are. They should. They, they know that kind of stuff. All right. So Brandy asks, are we going during the Halloween event? Brandy, you need to send me a message over and we'll chat about that. Um, so you will be there... Be there during yeah, you'll be it. there. Yeah, you'll be there during Halloween, so we can talk about getting you guys party tickets for that. So, with that said, that's really the end of our show. Wow, we're a little short tonight. Hey, that's short and sweet. Short and sweet. I don't know about short and sweet. I, I, I feel like I should like throw some random comments out in the middle of all of it. Just link it. I'll go back. I'll edit it. I'll throw some weird things in the middle. No. Okay. I thought you were getting ready to throw more trivia at me. Oh. I do. All right. So I did saw another question and I didn't put it down. So another question that someone okay. had. I was thinking about banking it for later, but I'll go ahead and talk about it now. Um, what is too tall to ride the rides? So obviously we know that there are certain rides like Splash Mountain. You have to be forty inches tall to ride it. What's too tall? Yes. Are that's there any, any rides that I, you can be too tall for? That's funny that you said that because I was at a park that shall name name remain nameless this week and there was a height restriction for how tall and it was 75 inches tall interesting yeah um to my knowledge disney doesn't have any of those i've never seen that and they they don't Uh, the only one where i could see it potentially being an issue (laughs) and everybody's thinking it who's ever been on it is space mountain that's one of them there's another one also um newer roller coaster uh, Everest? No. Seven Doors. Okay. Seven uh, Doors could, could potentially... Um, as I was, I was doing a little research and going through and stuff and, and, and uh, reading a little bit from other folks that your height can be... You know, now, these, the person I was asking was six foot nine. Um, and, you know, a lot of it just just varies. Seven Doors... Um, I, can't, I don't see where that would be a problem. Uh, it just the 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 length your your legs are kind oh, of oh, kind, okay. kind the of the ride the ride vehicle the, the ride yeah. vehicle itself. Yeah. I'm thinking that more of is your your ride vehicle. Yes, Space Mountain has the possibility of you you feel like because it's keep all your, keep your hands. Inside. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're seven foot, don't don't do that number necessarily. <laughs> you might slap something. Um, but you know your ride vehicle itself. Can be a little tight, sure. Um, but even on those, most most everyone that I would, did research on, um, there wasn't anything that um, that that anybody said that really stood out. And I said, no, you're too tall. You, you don't want you know if you're more than seventy five inches tall, you should not ride this ride. Which what was that six five? Oof. Yeah, no, sixty. No, that's five feet. Never mind. Um. All right. So with that said. By the way, Robin Williams was a jungle skipper. Uh Uh-huh. As was John Lasseter, who is now head of the Walt Disney um, Animation. Wasn't it someone on Saturday Night Live that was, or did he just work for Disney? Oh, no, no, that's Steve Martin. Steve Martin was in the magic shop on Main Street at Disneyland. Okay, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, you guys have a wonderful week, and we will see you next week, right? 8.30. Walt Disney World time. Y'all have a fantastic week. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.